Fab and Fun Club, please subscribe, like, and share. Mickey Friends, The Talent Show. Mickey Mouse sighed as he looked out the window. It was pouring outside. Sorry, gang, he said. It doesn't look like we'll be able to go for a hike today after all. Now, what are we going to do? Donald asked. I have an idea, Minnie said. Let's put on a talent show. We can have it right here. And we can invite all our friends, added Mickey. Donald had a great idea for an act, but he couldn't do it alone. Hey, Pluto, want to be in my act? He asked. Pluto barked happily. Great, Donald replied. He dashed to the kitchen. A few minutes later, he came back carrying a large bowl of fruit. Everyone was curious about Donald's props, but he didn't want to ruin the surprise. Come on, Pluto, he said. Let's go. Practice in the attic. Donald waited until they were all alone to tell Pluto about his big idea. We're going to have the best act in the talent show. He exclaimed, I'm going to juggle this fruit. Then I'll throw it to you one piece at a time so you can balance it on your nose. Donald grabbed an apple, a peach, and a pear. Watch this, he said. Donald tossed the fruit into the air and started to juggle. Pluto was so impressed that he sat back and barked his approval. Good, you sit just like that, Donald told Pluto. Now I'll throw the fruit over, one at a time, okay? One, two, three. Just as Donald tossed the peach to Pluto, the attic door creaked open. Pluto spun around to see who was there. The peach sailed past his head and landed on the floor with a juicy splat. I just wanted to see if you'd like to help invite our friends to the talent show, Daisy said, holding up a phone. Can't you see we're practicing? Donald snapped. Then he closed the door right in Daisy's face. Donald picked up the smashed peach. Yuck, he said. I can't juggle with this. Donald plucked a plum from the fruit bowl and started juggling again. The fruits went whoosh 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 through the air. This time, when Donald tossed the plum into the air, Pluto was ready. He caught it on his nose. Great job, Donald cheered. Okay, here comes the pear. Knock, knock, knock. Pluto and Donald jumped. The plum rolled off Pluto's nose, and Donald dropped the pear and the apple accidentally. All the fruit went splat. Hi there, Donald. Howdy, Pluto. Wow, it looks like you're working really hard, Mickey said. I can't wait to. What do you want? Donald grumbled. We're almost ready to go on. Mickey replied, I was wondering if you'd like to help decorate the set. We don't have time for that, Donald said. Can't you see? We're practicing? Oh, Mickey said. Sorry to bother you. Donald took a deep breath and picked up another apple. It's almost time for the show, he said. And we still haven't practiced all the way through. Pluto looked worried. It's okay, Pluto. Donald continued, I'm good at juggling things, and you're good at catching things. I'm sure it will be just then. Minnie poked her head into the attic. Does anybody need help with their costumes? She asked. No, Donald hollered. What we need is practice and no more interruptions. I'm sorry, Minnie replied, but Mickey also asked me to give you a message. The show is about to start. Donald peeked out the attic window. Sure enough, he could see Huey, Dewey, and Louie dodging raindrops as they hurried to the house. Good luck with your practice, Minnie said in a small voice. Before she slipped out the door, Donald glanced at the fruit bowl. It had looked so full before, but now there were only a prickly pineapple, a watermelon, and a bunch of bananas left. There was barely enough fruit to juggle in the show, let alone to practice with. When they went downstairs, Donald and Pluto could see how hard everyone had worked to get ready for the talent show. Donald wondered how they'd had time to practice their own. Axe, I'm sorry, Donald said. I should have helped everybody get ready instead of yelling at you for interrupting my rehearsal. Mickey smiled and stepped in front of the audience. Welcome, friends, to the rainy day talent show, he announced. Donald watched as his friends shared their acts. First Mickey performed an amazing magic trick. Then Minnie did a special dance. Next Daisy played a song on her harmonica, You're Up. Mickey told Donald and Pluto, Break a leg. Donald and Pluto walked to the center of the stage. As Pluto sat back on his haunches, 
Donald grabbed the bunch of bananas. But Donald had never juggled with a bunch of bananas before. The bananas flew across the room, making the whole audience laugh. Donald's cheeks turned pink as he grabbed the pineapple and tossed it into the air. Ow choof, ow ugh, Donald exclaimed as he tried to juggle it. He glanced at Pluto, who shook his head and hid under his paws. Soon only the watermelon was left. When Pluto saw Donald reach for it, he hid under the couch. The audience howled with laughter. Too embarrassed and upset to face his friends, Donald rushed off the stage. Pluto nuzzled his hand. A few minutes later, Mickey, Minnie, and Daisy joined them. What's wrong, Donald? Daisy asked. Donald stared at her in amazement. What's wrong? He said. Everything. My act was a disaster. It made everyone laugh and turned me into a big joke. Actually, Mickey said. You and Pluto were the stars of the show. That's right, Minnie agreed. We wanted to entertain our friends, and you did. Everyone's having a great time. In fact, I can still hear them clapping, Mickey added. Donald couldn't believe it, but Mickey was right. Everyone was clapping. You'd better get out there and give them an encore. Mickey told him, I don't have enough fruit, Donald said. Pineapples and watermelons were not made for juggling. How about you juggle balls instead? Daisy suggested, and we'll save the fruit for fruit salad. Minnie said, giggling, 